Welcome, collectors, to this new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at one of the nicest 150th scale asphalt pavers on the market today. It is the NZG Vogela Super 2000-3i tracked paver. This is a large highway class paver that is targeted towards the American and Australian market. So let's take a look at the packaging first, as we always do. Any model from the Vierkin Group always has first class packaging, and usually it comes with some sort of brochure uh, or reprint of the real equipment's brochure, so that's always a very nice inclusion. It's really a surprise to me that more models don't have some sort of paperwork with it, considering that all adult scale models of construction equipment are really there to help sell and promote the real machine. You can see there's a picture of the real paver on the side of the box being loaded by a shuttle buggy machine. One side flap has the NZG logo, the Vierkin Group logo, the Vogela logo, and multiple different languages. This side of the box has a rendering of the very large paver. Vogela on top, Vogela on bottom. There's the other side flap. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened, take a closer look at it. It comes sealed between two polystyrene formers that are helpfully marked top and bottom. And as suspected, here is a little reprint brochure pamphlet which has, which has several pages to it, as you can see. And inside has some nice information about the real paver, some very nice photos. Always worthwhile to hang on to any paperwork that comes with your models. All right. Take the top portion off. The model is housed in some tissue paper. Initially, when you take this off, there are a couple rubber bands that are holding the tracks together and the screed together. I have already removed those to save us a little bit of time. There is an initial piece of packaging, an additional piece of packaging, I should say, right under the canopy piece. So you want to remove that too before you lift up the canopy. Right here. It is wedged in there pretty good you got to be a little bit careful. But with some persuasion and some patience, it pops right out. Once you've done that, you are ready to display your paver. Let's begin with the details that are on this model because there are many, as well as some features. As you can see, the Vogela name along with the Vyrtkin Group W are very clear and present all throughout this model. You can see the Super 2000-3i, multiple warning stickers and labels all throughout. On the front, you have additional warning labels here on top of the engine lid. This side as well, same thing, Vogela. Multiple warning and danger logos all throughout. That continues on the screed. On the top of the canopy, you have Vogela written in black. And a very high point on this model, although it may be difficult to see because it's so small, is the operating panels the control stations for the operators on top of the screen are very nicely replicated, and you can almost make out each of the controls, especially when you hold it up next to a picture of the real control. It looks pretty nice. Additionally, you can see that on the control panels up here, which you can slide that to either of the operator seat, the left side or the right side. That mechanism works quite well. All right, on to the features. The model has several opening engine panels which reveal highlighted features inside. So both sides of the engine panel doors open. Also, the main engine hood opens as well. There we go. And inside you can see a detailed Cummins Tier 4 engine for the US spec. You can lift your Exhaust stack up for when your machine is ready to be working and not in the transport mode any longer. Continuing on with the features at the front of the paver, your hopper sides can fold inwards to force material down onto the belt that gets forced to the back of the paver. Additionally, you have moving rollers which would engage the rear of the dump truck's wheels to push it along. You can lock the exhaust stack underneath the canopy if you want. That is an option that is afforded to you. To keep your operator dry 
or from getting a sunburned, of course, you can extend the canopy sides out just like this. Also, your seats slide out as well, which allow you, if you wanted to, to put an operator figure in behind one of the seats. In this case, I'm using one of the Diecast Masters operator figures, which fits perfectly in one of the operator seats. Now we have our canopy all the way folded up so we can begin paving. Let's extend our screed out on both sides with an extendable screed. So we have that extended. We can also lift and lower the screed. So now it's in a raised position. You can clearly see how far that's off the ground. Now we can lower it back down. Also, we're still not done with functionality. You have these side platforms that a construction worker can stand on if he wants to that will fold down, just like that. And you have them on both sides of the machine. So for instance, if you want to have a gentleman monitoring the depth of the asphalt mat that is being put out or the temperature, you can place him right here. Hopefully he'll stand up and be cooperative. There you go. So there you have it, collectors. That is my review of the 150th scale NZG Vogela Super 2000-3i. As I said in the opening of the video, this is one of the nicest 150th scale pavers you can currently get on the market. Certainly one of the nicest rubber tracked die cast pavers that you can get. I didn't mention in the review, but the tracks will roll. They're just extremely tight on my model, but if you apply enough downward pressure on a surface with resistance, they will roll. But again, they are extremely stiff, fresh out of the box. Because this is one of the nicest pavers, though, you are going to run into the ultimate conundrum. It is, unfortunately, very, very expensive. But again, quality is what quality is. You get what you pay for. To close out the video, let's set up a realistic small paving diorama, which is something that's always fun and interesting to display your paving models with. So let's carefully move our paver over here. Let's bring in a dump truck. In this case, a Diecast Masters Western Star dump truck. Have him loading some material in the back, just like that. And then we'll bring in a WSI Ham HD 110 roller to close out the display. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this model. As I said before, this is currently available from any of your favorite online construction distributors or, of course, on eBay as well. But be advised, it is extremely expensive. But if you have the means and you're looking to have one of the best pavers on the market, I can't recommend this model enough. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take a look at your screen right now for another suggested Diecast Emporium review. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.